Good morning, Forest Park. Today is March 17th, 2021. I'm Don Jones. I'm the city manager here in Forest Park. And this is our show off the cuff where we try and touch on topics that came up last week and things that, of interest that might be coming up into the future. I want to start out by bringing attention to a show that was hosted here, right here in Forest Park at Waycross Media. It was a relief-a-thon for COVID relief. It was hosted by Hamilton County Commissioner Lisa Reese. And with her was our mayor, Chuck Johnson, as well as Council Member Chelsea Clark and Council Member Aaron Brown, who represented Forest Park and answered questions and talked about some of the things that are going on here. What, what the program did was have multiple organizations and multiple folks, brought them all together to talk about the things that they can do and the things and the programs that they're offering to help people through uh, this COVID problem, whether it's rental assistance, small business assistance, food support, and more. Anything that you can think of, any kind of program that, that other nonprofits and other governmental agencies are putting together, uh, it discussed them. It's a two hour program. The most important thing that I think that you can take away from that is that they launched a new telephone number. The number is 211. It's a one-stop shop. If you call there, there'll be somebody at the other end of the line who will help you and direct you to the organizations that, that can help you with, your, with whatever you need. Again, rental assistance, small business support, evictions, whatever it is, food support, there'll be somebody there that can direct you to an organization that can help you. Also, uh, last night I was, I was a, a member of a panel on Facebook Live by Council Member Aaron Brown talking about affordable housing and housing discrimination here in Hamilton County. One of the other panelists was a, a representative of uh, HOME, Housing Opportunities Made Equal. Very nice program, good discussion. We hope to have a more specific discussion later on. Uh, we'll have um, a program that talks about Forest Park and our affordable housing strategy. So we, we'll publicize that when we, when we uh, when we film it and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, have that discussion here shortly. Let's talk about City Council. They had their meeting this Monday and some of the things on the agenda were the contract with our police dispatchers. We finalized our contract with our police dispatchers and clerks. It's a two-year contract and called for a 2% cost of living raise over the next two years. We're happy that uh, we can put that behind us and we're uh, we love the work that our dispatchers do, and we're very proud of our uh, dispatchers and our police department. Also at that event was um, a Forest Park Minority and Community Business Award put together by Council Member uh, Chelsea Clark. And we were pleased to have with us uh, the owner of Southern Treats Sweetery, uh, Jemina Whittle. And uh, we are pleased to present her with, again, the first Forest Park Minority Community Business Award. It was voted on, and she received a significant amount of the votes. And, uh, and uh, she was present at the meeting, and we'll be uh, providing her an actual physical copy of the, of the award here shortly. But we want to refer you to her, her, uh, her shop. Also, the business of the month was from our Chamber of Commerce and our Economic Development Department was Tri-City Cleaners down on... Um, Northland Boulevard. Uh, they do a great job. We recommend them if you ever need any cleaning needs. Again, keep your business here, right here in Forest Park. Everything you need from, uh, from the cleaners or whether it's the, uh, the sweetery, try and support the local businesses right here that support you. Finally, I want to talk about, again, it's springtime. It's uh, time for the chipper program to start and it begins April 5th. That'll be the first week. There's a specific date for each, uh, each area of the city. So check our schedule, go to our website, check the chipper schedule, make sure you hit your date and please follow the rules with regards to set out times and how you're supposed to set it out so we can make the pickup very efficient and, uh, and make sure we get through the city in, a, in an efficient and quick manner and get rid of that, uh, that yard waste uh, from in front of your home. Again, we get a lot of questions with regards to COVID vaccines and where they can sign up and how they can get a uh, on the list. We refer you to Hamilton County Public Health. That's where the lists are. Go there, sign up, get on a list, monitor it. The, um, today is, again, March 17th. It's uh, St. Patrick's Day. It's kind of the unofficial one-year anniversary of when uh, this, the, the state and the, and the country, for that matter, uh, began uh, shutting down and locking down 
um, because of the upcoming COVID pandemic. So it's been one year since that started. Now the vaccines are starting to roll out. Uh, the governor recently changed these, the age requirements for the vaccine. Beginning um, this Friday, uh, the vaccine will be available for anyone age 40 and up. And again, also, as it's always been, if you have certain health, health issues, you're always eligible if you qualify under those health issues. If you have any questions about what those are, again, I refer you to Hamlin County Public Health. Finally, on March 29th, the governor's opened up vaccines to anyone age 16 and up. So take advantage of it, get on the list, and, uh, and get your vaccine. Now's the time to do it. The time change this weekend, it's dark in the morning. School's back in session up through the end of the year, uh, through May. Let's make sure that when you're coming to work in the morning, those kids will be out, they'll be at the bus stops, they'll be walking. Make sure that you keep an eye out for them. Be very safe, be very careful, and watch out for our kids. Thank you, Forest Park, and we'll talk to you next week.